Hi, Maria Victoria. It's wonderful to, to finally meet you. I love looking at your website. Um, my, it dazzled my eyes. So, you. Uh, you know, we have a, we're, we're just delighted to, that you're part of um, uh, McLean Project Art Fest. And um, this is an opportunity for viewers to get to know you a little better and, um, and relate to your work with some human connection. So we just have a few questions. And one is, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Um, sure, I am um, a self-taught uh, painter. I started painting three years ago and um, I've learned oil, acrylic and watercolor. Okay, two years ago? Uh, three years ago. Two years yes. ago, wow. <laughs> And um, before that, I never painted. I was a real estate agent for nine years. Wow. And um, I studied math. So I have a degree in math and I teach now part-time at uh, American U and, and at Montgomery College. So. Who would have known? I'm sorry? <laughs> Who would have known? That's fantastic. And, and where did you grow up? I grew up in France. Uh, I was born and raised in France, but I left France when I was 19 and a half, got married mm -hmm. uh, for 23 years, had three kids and um, have three kids. And um, now I'm no longer with uh, my husband, but um, I, you know, I, I, I'm try I, I just became a painter three years ago. And so this is my new career. Um, you know, I noticed um, that, you know, with your uh, the categories, you know, of your work and under impressionism, abstract and watercolor. I just wondered, for example, hearing your French accent, um, you know, um, how were you influenced by impressionism? What led you to so much? I mean, not I just two, not the last two years. <laughs> oh, I've always loved always. art. Always loved art. Always went to, especially. Um, Museum of Modern Art. I love modern art. I love Kandinsky. I love the Impressionists. I love Gerhard Richter. I love color. I mm -hmm. think the common denominator of all these artists is color. I like I contrast. I'm, I'm just fascinated by color. So I discovered, I mean, I never thought I had any art artistic ability. And um, it just, it, it was a kind of a coincidence. It was more for practical reasons that I started painting three years ago and I just loved it. I, I was really surprised by how much I, I enjoyed the process. Mm -hmm. so how I started. Well, that's and, evident in the work, but you know, I was gonna ask you about your educational background and its impact on the artistic process. And I just want, or practiced rather. And um, can, did you have some teachers who helped you uh, with painting? Did you study with anyone? Really. My main source of learning has been YouTube. Really? Yeah, yeah. I have seen, I see lots of, um, you know, videos about how to make flowers, how I, David Hansen. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Hansen. I know him. Yeah. He's amazing, I think. Uh -huh. And uh, another one is, um, oh boy, I forgot her name now. Um, Oh, shoot. she's wonderful. It's gonna come, but, I, but, yeah. but there are several artists that have been looking online and, and that, that are just amazing. Instagram is a great source, especially when you see all these pictures from the impressionists, from different painters. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of these paintings are not very known mm -hmm. and yes. there's so much beauty. There's all the art of the painter there. Yeah. And it strikes me and, and I, I just get so excited by it and, and, and inspired. And it sounds like you really got hooked and just started making your own. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you have a, a home studio or where do you work? Yes, I work from home. Um, I live in a small apartment in Bethesda. Huh? And my living space is my studio. So there's not much of a living space. Uh, it's just paintings everywhere. There is uh, material to paint. Mm -hmm. This is also where I teach online when I teach, you know, um, math at the university. And so um, this is definitely a working space, not a living wow. space. Anymore. Thank you for revealing <laughs> these aspects of your professionalism because um, who would know, right? That's terrific. So. 
because I love to be home and to be able to paint whenever I feel like. I mean, painting is not like, I don't feel like I can dictate the hours that I would be painting. It's really, it comes and goes, you know, I, I see something, sometimes it's a detail and it sparks something. Or I look at a painting of mine and I'm like, oh, I know what's wrong. Uh -huh. This is what I need to fix. Right. So it's wonderful to have the studio at home right there. That's great. Yeah, you're you're living and breathing and eating art. It's terrific. So, yeah. um, and uh, can you talk a little bit about the media you use, and maybe share a little bit about how you use these different media for expression? Yes, uh, I love oil. Mm -hmm. The reason is, um, in general, I have a, ten a tendency to be someone who doesn't like too much what is static what is rigid, I like to change. And with oil, I feel like because it takes so long to dry, mm -hmm. yeah. you can go back and mix colors and add layers and contrast colors. And it's so flexible. Yeah. So it's definitely what I love. And sometimes I work with acrylic. I like acrylic too for different projects, but in general, oil is really my favorite means okay. of working. Right. And, and so and, I'm sorry, I also love watercolors because the colors are so vibrant. Right, right. So, and it seems like you, you're selling a lot of art as well. Yes, I have been really successful. Yes, I've been lucky that I've sold, you know, basically at a rate of about a piece per month. Mm -hmm. And um, so I hope to be able to continue and crank up the work and, and sell more and get better and better and better. Okay, great. Can you know? Can you talk a little bit about um, a little more about the subject matter um, that you use that you're interested in? You know, and themes that you keep returning to. Yes, I love landscapes. Mm -hmm. I love nature mm -hmm. because this is where you can be very impressionistic mm -hmm. and abstract. I think, and mm -hmm. also I love abstract abstraction of That's scenes. Great. Yeah. Well, um, I, I really enjoyed seeing how you organized your website. Very, very clear. So, um, and uh, I was just going to ask to close, you know, do you have a motto or a creed that you live by? By an, an art, you know, if, if someone asked you about, you know, what do you really, what's your biggest principle for creating? I think it's go with the flow. Uh -huh. I have a vague idea of what I want to do, but sometimes it doesn't pan out the way I think, thought it was going to pan out. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll try to follow what comes out and just work with it. Okay. And another thing too is uh, I feel like when I paint, I have complete freedom on my canvas. I can do whatever I want. And I love that freedom. I think it's, mm. it's amazing. Lovely. Great. So um, if you were to... Uh, and this will be the last question. If you were to ask, if, if you were to uh, comment on someone else who wanted to become an artist, what advice would you give them? Uh, I would say, go with your guts. Just follow what you feel you, you can do. Mm -hmm. Let your hands and your, your, your soul mm -hmm. work on the canvas. Don't worry about what people may think or... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you have to do something at some point, then just do it. Mm -hmm. Well, you certainly bring a lot of joy uh, to, you know, to your, in your art and in talking with you. And I really appreciate it. Um, and I know everybody else will be really interested to hear your back, you know, hear your background and, and your success. Thank you. Thank you. I love your art too. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you.